associative mapping in associative mapping we can keep a main memory block anywhere on the cache suppose we need to bring main memory block 2 to the cache memory we have three free cache lines available we have the freedom to choose any cache line we can copy it anywhere so if we consider any single cache line we can see all the main memory blocks are actually mapped to it hence if it is occupied then which main memory block is actually residing on that particular cache line to identify that each cache line will be associated with a tag the tag associated with the cache line will help to identify which main memory block is copied to that cache line. In this example, each cache line is mapped to 8 main memory blocks. So to uniquely address 8 blocks, how many bits should be there in the tag? There are 8 blocks, 2 power 3 blocks, hence the number of bits required in the tag is 3. Hence, in general, if there are 2 power n number of main memory blocks, then the number of bits in the tag of associative mapping is n bits because the entire block number or the block index is acting as the tag here. Thus, here line 0 is having main memory block 2, hence the tag is 010. Line 1 is having main memory block 4, hence the tag is 100. The other two lines are free. So, by analyzing the cache lines and the associated tag, we will be able to identify that line 0 is having main memory block 2 and line 1 is having main memory block 4 and the other two cache lines are free to use. So, how does it actually work? When a physical address is generated, as we know the physical address refers to the main memory. In this example, the main memory is having 8 blocks. Assume each block is having 4 words, then how many bits will be there in the physical address? To address each of the 4 words in the block, we need 2 bits and to address each of the 8 blocks we need 3 bits hence 3 plus 2 5 bits will be there in the physical address the physical address can be divided into two parts block offset and the block index in block offset we will have 2 bits because there are 4 words in each block and there are 8 blocks hence in the block index there will be 3 bits and in associative mapping, the block index, the entire block number or the block index itself is acting as the tag. Hence, with this block index, it will be compared with each and every tag associated with the cache lines. If a match is found here we have a match then it means the word addressed by this physical address is in the cache memory hence this is a cache hit we can access the word from the cache itself and what if a match not found suppose this is the generated physical address it can be split into two parts two bits will be the block offset least significant two bits will be the block offset and the remaining three bits will be the block index in associative mapping the block index is acting as the tag the block index will be compared with each and every tag associated with the cache lines but here there is no match found hence it's a cache miss in such case we have to access the word from the main memory itself thus for time being we will access word 1 of block 5 from the main memory and then for future references to help the future references this entire main memory block 5 will be copied to the cache memory and since we are using associative mapping, there are three free cache lines available. We have the freedom to choose any of these. Suppose we chose line number 2. Then the entire block index should be associated as a tag to this cache line. Thus the tag is 101. 
So by analyzing the tax and the associated cash lines, we can see the first cash line is having block two, the second cash line one is having block four, cash line two is having block five, and cash line three is free. And while we are bringing or copying a main memory block to the cache, if all the cache lines are occupied, then we should choose a proper replacement strategy. So what are the advantages of associative mapping? This is the most flexible method of mapping because we can choose any cache line. If we have to bring a main memory block to the cache, if any free cache line is available, then we can use it. Thus, we can utilize the cache space to the maximum. A replacement is required only in case the entire cache is full. And the major limitation is we need to compare the block index with each and every tag present or associated with all the cache lines. And another small limitation is the tag bit, the number of tag bits is small. The entire block index is used just in the tag and the number of bits used for the tag is small compared to the other methods.